Okay, so, Rho Fe. It's supposed to be this, like, productivity powerhouse. Right. And I know you're all about squeezing more out of your day, working smarter, not harder. So let's dive into this. Rho Fe. Is it the tool we've all been missing? Well, think about it. How much time do we all waste just, like, wrestling with windows, bouncing between a million things? It's chaos. Yeah, you're not wrong about that. Rofi wants to be that mission control for your workflow. Sleek, fast, all keyboard driven. Okay, so I've heard of Rofi, right? But I always sort of lumped it in with those, like, D-menu replacements. Right, and it can replace D-menu, sure. But it's more than that. Oh, much more. Think of it this way. Saying Rofi just replaces D-menu is like saying a Swiss army knife. It's just, you know, a good toothpick. We're talking multiple modes here. Run, drun, window, even SSH. Huh? File browser modes. Hold on, hold on. SSH. Like, I can connect to servers with this thing. You got it. And that's not even getting into the keys and script modes, which is where you can really go nuts with customizing it. Make it your own. Okay, so we're not just launching apps here, but like actually interacting with my system at a deeper level. Exactly. And that's where the real power comes in. Rofi is insanely customizable. Theming engine's great, but the scripting, you can make it dance however you want it. All right. You've officially piqued my interest. <laughs> but let's make this real for a second. For someone like me, or for anyone listening who's, you know, drowning in projects, windows everywhere, how does Rofi actually make life better day to day? So pay me a picture. I'm in the zone, right? Coding, mm -hmm. writing, whatever. I need to access something a file, an app, whatever. How does Rofi come to the rescue? Okay, so instead of that alt-tab madness or digging through folders, you hit a shortcut and boom, Rofi just appears. You start typing, and it could be any a keyword, pardon the name, and Rofi starts narrowing it down, like instantly. Okay, but like typos? I'm the king <laughs> of typos, especially when I'm in a hurry. Does Rofi make me look stupid? Not a chance. It's called fuzzy matching. So even if you completely butcher a word, Rofi's smart enough to figure out what you meant. No more getting stuck because you left out a letter or two. That's reassuring. Now, I remember reading something about Rofi, keeping track of what you use most often. Like, does it actually learn your habits? You got it. History-based ordering. It's constantly learning what you use and when. So the things you need most are always right there at the top. Saves you a ton of time in the long run. Okay, that's slick. That's really slick. Now, you mentioned commie mode earlier. And I'll be honest, it went a little over my head. What's the deal with that? So think of it this way. You know how Rofi can do all this stuff. Launching apps, switching windows, even those SSH connections we talked about. Yeah. Combi mode basically lets you bring it all together, one interface to rule them all. Wait, so I could be, like, working on a presentation, then need to check some data in a spreadsheet, then SSH into a server, and I wouldn't have to leave Rofi at all. You got it. No more context switching, no more getting derailed because you're bouncing between a million different things. Combi mode keeps you in control, streamlined, efficient. This is seriously powerful stuff. But is Rofi one of those things where you need to be like a command line guru to use it? Because while I love the idea of tweaking everything, I also just need to get things done, mm. you know. So it sounds pretty full on, to be honest. Right. What's the learning curve like? Can I pick this up quickly or am I going to be stuck reading manuals for the next month? I'd say Rofi's pretty clever about that, actually. It's designed so you can jump in with the basics and sort of like naturally discover the more powerful stuff as you go. Okay, that's good to hear. And yeah, it's got docs, but they're actually well written, which is kind of rare. Plus, the Rofi community is super helpful. People love to share their, you know, configs and scripts and stuff. Right, right. I'm starting to see how Rofi is almost more than just a tool, though. It's like yeah. the whole philosophy of how to use your computer, you know? Yeah. Like taking control. Totally. And what's interesting is this isn't just about Rofi. There's this whole trend of powerful, customizable tools popping up, right? People are rejecting this idea of one-size-fits-all software. Yeah, I can definitely see that. So bottom line, for someone listening to our little deep dive here, mm -hmm. why should they care about Rofi? Give me the elevator pitch. It's simple. How much time are you wasting on a daily basis just trying to, like, wrangle your computer? Rofi mm -hmm. gives you that time back, lets you focus on the stuff that matters, makes you more productive, but in a way that feels almost effortless. Effortless productivity. Yeah. I like the sound of that. Because I don't know about you, but I get enough frustration from computers as it is. We don't need more. Right. Exactly. And then there's that satisfaction you get from customizing things, making them your own. With Rofi, you're not stuck with someone else's idea of what's good. You're in control. You know, we've barely even touched on the scripting side of things. And I feel like that's where things get really interesting. You know, like you could automate some seriously complex tasks, interact with other services, 
the possibilities seem kind of endless. That's the cool thing about Rofi, right? It's a springboard. Not just to do things faster, but to do things differently. So for anyone listening, if you're looking for a way to level up your workflow, to really master your digital world, Rofi might just be your secret weapon. Give it a shot. I think you'll be surprised at what you can achieve.